All right, welcome to the SAM project uh, video tutorial for the Corona Medical Assignment. Uh, this is SAM Module 4, Project 1, or A. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is open up that data file, the 4A underscore your name underscore 1. Do the file save as, change it to 2, and then we can get started. So the first step says, as an executive at Corona Medical, uh, you are drafting a business proposal. It must contain 1,000 words or less. And so let's go ahead. On page one, expand the character spacing of the paragraph executive summary. So we're going to select that executive summary. We're going to go to our font group, advanced tab. So that font group launcher, advanced tab, and then spacing. We're going to expand it by two points. All right, let's go ahead, OK. Then it says format the bulleted list in the objectives section, so right down here. As follows, demote the two bullets sales and market under the sales and marketing. So we're going to go down over here, and I'm just going to click that increase indent. It's going to do the same thing as demote. I'm going to change the color of the bullets. So click on the little bullets, change the color, and this again, this is the first, the four leveled list, the color of the bullets, and you can go right here, define new bullet, font, change the color right here to aqua accent 5, okay, or the other way you could have done it is just select the bullet, come over to your font color, and change it to Aqua Accent 5 that way. Both of them do the same thing. All right, now it says sort the four paragraphs in the company background. So company background, we're going to sort those four paragraphs in numerical order, I'm assuming, uh, in ascending order by paragraph. So we're going to go to our sort your paragraph group, sort, paragraph, text, in ascending order. All right. <clears throat> then it says on page two, split up, split and merge the cells in the startup costs table and insert a formula. So split the cells containing the text requesting funding and total amount. So we're just going to come right over here, go to our table tools layout tab, split cells into two columns, one row, boom. It says insert a formula in cell B9, so that's under this requested funding. So in cell B9, that sums the values above. So in our table tools layout tab, data group, formula, sum above. Okay, and then it says merge cells B, C, and D9. So this is B, C, and D9. We're going to merge those ones. So let's go merge. All right, the next step says format the startup cost table as follows. So here's the startup cost table. We're going to change the top and bottom cell margins to 0 0.04 for all cells. So cell margins, top 0 0.04, bottom 0 0.04. All right, and this is shade row one using the aqua accent five, lighter, so we're going to go to our design tab and then shading aqua accent 5 lighter 60% change the direction of the difference provided by owners so insertion point in here we're going to go back to our layout tab and then our text direction we want it so it reads from the top to the bottom so click that one time from top to bottom. 
and then resize column A using auto fit. So we're just going to come up to this first column and then come over here, double click to resize that. All right, step six says format and sort the table in the roles and shares. So right over here. So it says sort the table in descending order by the number of shares. So we're gonna select this table and then we're gonna do a sort by, make sure you select this header row share, make sure you have header row selected, and you want the number in what was it? Descending order. Okay. Alright, then change the color of the table borders to Aqua Accent 5. So our design tab, our borders, I'm going to go to borders and shading, I'm going to change my color to aqua accent 5, change all the borders. We're going to distribute the rows in the table. So I'm just going to select my rows, my layout tab, and then distribute rows. and then change the width of column C to 1.35. So the width of column C to 1.35. And then align the percentage amounts using the align center right. So we're going to do the align center right. And that's in our alignment group on the table tools layout tab. All right, then it says format the shaded for more information section at the bottom of page two as follows. Change the indentation of the two paragraphs to 0.5 left indent. So click on those two. I'm gonna to come to my layout tab and then in my indentation group, I'm gonna change that to a 0.5 left indent. It says format the heading for more information in small caps. So our home tab, font group launcher, font, small caps. And it says update the field after the number of words text. So right click, update field. All right, and then it says, uh, insert a draft one watermark. So we're gonna go to our design tab, watermark, and we're gonna scroll down to the draft one. So here's the draft one, and it wants us to do a Oh, just the draft one. All right, then it says add a cover page as follows. So I'm gonna go control home to the top of my document. I'm gonna go to my layout tab, or excuse me, my insert tab, pages, and then cover page. And we're gonna choose the slice dark cover page. So here's our slice dark cover page. In the document title, we're going to type Corona Auditory Testing. <clears throat> and then in our document subtitle, we're going to type Business Proposal. Uh oh, little p. All right, so Corona Auditory, business proposal, and then here is the rest of that document. All right, so go ahead and save it and submit it.